what's up, Jacob? Um, I have a pretty lengthy demo for you because I've got um, all three of your sabers. I've got your pair of Thrawn Hunters, which we will start off with the panels open. So these have the Goth Master chassis. We'll go over these here in a second. And then I also have your KR Sabers Scavenger. Uh, and this also has a Master chassis in it. So we'll go over this guy first because it's fairly easy to open and close this guy. And then we'll go over uh, the reveal of the Master chassis on your Thrawn Hunters. I'll cut off the video, put them together, and then we'll put some blades in them. Okay. Uh, but all three sabers have the five sound fonts that you sent me. So on this guy in particular, what you want to do is grab the uh, pommel and do just a slight turn like that. And then you can pull this right out. Now, when you're pulling this out, there are two screws that you're going to have to watch out for, for clearance. And I'll show you that as we put it back in. So just take your time, kind of work it out. Don't just go yanking on it because you will probably break something. All right. Uh, there's two screws in there. There's one right here, and then there's another one 180 degrees from it. That's why you have these two grooves inside of your chassis. And we'll go over that more in detail when we put this back in. But uh, the pommel will probably have the chassis in it when you take it out, but you can just gently work its way out of there, and this comes off. Okay, and we'll put this over here. And then here is your master chassis for the scavenger. Um, a removable battery, obviously. This is the battery that came with it, so I'm just going to leave it in here. Kill switch. Uh, you've got a 28 millimeter KR speakers speaker. Uh, your board is covered with this, but this piece right here is on magnets. So if you wanted to get to your board, you just have to pull this off, and that exposes your board. You will see some wiring. Um, there's no way for me to hide it except for underneath this guy. So if you don't need to get to your board, you can just leave that right on there. It stays on with magnets. Uh, what else do we got here? You got a crystal up here, single crystal. So you have a NeoPixel accent for your crystal. You have several LEDs right underneath it, and then another couple right under here to light up this ring right here. Uh, the two doors on your crystal chamber do open like that to give you a full crystal reveal on both sides. And then you have a spinning plasma gate on top. Then these close back if you don't want. Well, obviously, they need to be closed if you're going to put it in the saber. Um, although this is a one button setup, you have an additional brass tactile switch right here to operate this chassis outside of the saber. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn this light off um, and just come over here and flip your kill switch. Um, we'll hit power. You can see that plasma gate spinning there. Your LEDs react to sound, so you don't need extra blade styles for those. The crystal does react to the uh, button being pressed. Blade lock up. Holding it down to turn it off. Uh, one more time if we're to open these up. Uh, to change sound fonts, it's a long press on the tactile switch. And then we can hit power again. And hopefully you can see that spinning. And then you have a full reveal, you know, like I said, on both sides. We'll turn it back off. Close these gates up and then we'll put it in the saber. Okay, we'll turn the light back on. Now I'm putting it in the saber, you do have to pay attention to your channels right here in your chassis and then two screws on the pommel, right? So they have to, it has to go in a certain way. And because it goes in a certain way, it has to come out that way too. So if you don't have that lined up properly, it's not gonna come all the way out of the saber. But once you get it in there, you could kind of feel it bounce on those, on, on those pin connectors up here. And that's how you know you got it in all the way, right? So we'll take the, Pommel piece, slide it on, and then lock it down. So now I pressed it forward and then turned it. Now everything's locked down. Come over here. The cog will open up the fins all the way like that. You've got your stock V3 in there. Then when you click it, 
on the very end of the travel, you have to do it really fast. So click the uh, tactile switch and then get off of it. That's what turns your saber on. They got nice shine through in all your windows. All your LEDs are firing up. Blaster bolt is just a quick tap on the on the tactile switch like that. Now if you wanted blade lock up, you'd have to hold it down and hit the saber like that. And it'll stay like that until you let go of it. Just like that. And then to turn it off, it's a long press. We'll go ahead and we'll put a blade on here. Some of the sound fonts that you gave me uh, came with blade styles. So all the ones that had blade styles, I went ahead and I put them in here for you. And that's consistent on all three sabers. So this one kind of has a little bit of a pre-off and then eventually it turns off like that. Um, you've got four screws up here. If I turn this light back on, up near the emitter, four flatheads. And only one is a blade retention. It's this guy right here. I went ahead and I colored it with a silver Sharpie. So that way you know which one of the four was your actual blade retention. Okay, so we'll, we're going to need to back that out. Back that out real quick. You don't have to take it all the way out. I just kind of like to put my finger in there and make sure it's all the way out of the socket. I'll take a one inch blade and put it in there. Now these fins. I sensed a darkness. Is that a name? These Officer KT6 3. That's not a name. That's a serial number. These fins only open just enough to accept a blade. If you open them too much, you'll turn the saber on. Once we get that all the way in, we can turn this light off, flip it on. This is the Predator font that you gave me. And it has its own blade style. Blade lock up. up and down the blade depending on how you hold the saber and then hold it turn it off we'll go to another one now it's a long press on the act uh, on the tactile switch when the saber is off i sensed a darkness we go to another sound font <laughs> try not to hit my ceiling <laughs> This one also had its own blade style. But yeah, everything's working nice on this guy, nice and solid. Turn it off. And we'll go over taking the blade out. So we'll just come over here and do the same thing we did to put it back in. Loosen that blade retention. Pull your blade out. Tighten that back down. Close this up, just like that. You will want to periodically check your screws in this because it has a lot of tiny screws. Um, there have been some issues in the past where some of these have backed out and people have lost them. So I, I went through and I checked them all. They look nice and tight, um, but just give them a periodic check to make sure that they don't back out on you and, and you drop them, okay? Uh, but we'll come back over here and. Unclip the pommel, take it out, and then very carefully come over here and take the chassis out. Making sure that we line it up with those screws so that it comes all the way out of the saber just like that. And then um, if I had it turned on and I flip your kill switch, it kills everything just like it should. Okay? Um, so that is pretty much your scavenger and we can move over to the Shoto which is this guy right here right 
we'll start with the the covers off obviously so that you can see what's going on uh there's there's a there's like a double panel on both of them you've got your board cover and you've got your battery cover you can flip either one of those up but what i like to do is just kind of pull the whole thing out because it's all on magnets all right but if you look at it you could see how uh, one side flips up or if that was stationary you could flip your board cover up too okay easiest thing for me though is just to take this off when i'm putting the battery in but once you take that off you have your battery compartment right here uh you've got your profi board over here easy access to your sd card and your micro usb uh, this is also to a single switch setup i mean they both are all three of them are um, so what i did basically is the same config for the shoto as it is for the scavenger um, on the sheen it's a little bit different because there's some added blinkies and i'll show you that here in a second but yeah same same setup for this and the scavenger you've got um, a door right here and you can flip open once you flip that open that reveals your crystal and you've got your spinning plasma gate right here but we can close that and i'll show you that all lit up here in a second then they both have uh 24 millimeter kr speakers in them as well as uh the stock v3s okay so we'll put a battery in this guy real quick we'll go ahead and we'll put the uh cover back on it finds its home it's nice and and tidy because it's on magnets as you can see, I've got this pulsing as well as I did on the scavenger. Now these are on a timer, so if you don't turn it on right away, they will time out for you. If we come over here and turn it on, and I open up that door, and you can see your plasma gate spinning there too, right? And it does react to blaster bolt piece like And then we can come over here, flip that close, but it will still spin, right? And then again, hold it down and turn it off. And we'll take the battery out of this guy. And we'll go over your sheen. Um, I'm just gonna show you the one, one sound font per saber, and then I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll cut the video out. Um, put them all together because it is a bit of a process and then we'll put some blades in and fire them up so you can see that the blades work too uh, same setup on this guy with this board cover and battery cover pops right out but again if you prefer you know it does have the capacity for either side to flip open but i just like to take them out all right and then you've got of course your battery compartment your profi board same setup right here with your crystal so you could take this it's hard to do sometimes uh, but I'm not looking at it but you can flip that open to reveal your crystal and your plasma gate close that I, I do have a set of eight uh, like one eight pixel LED strip running right under here that I'll show you here in a second and then of course you've got uh, a 24 millimeter KR speaker and your stock V3 is right here as well okay so we'll go ahead and we'll throw a battery in turn that off for you Throw on our cover. And you can see how I've got it. We're doing a little something right here. Your crystal will pulse, right, until we turn it on. Now I got this doing a little something. And then um, you, you can again come over here and flip your door open. I know that crystal is super bright, so it's hard to see, but maybe you could see like kind of right right uh, where my finger's at your plasma gate is spinning there as well kind of easier to see it there and then your stock speed three is right here close that and then hold it to turn it off just like that and then all these are on a timer as well um so before i cut the video off and put this together let me take the this guy was a beast for me. Uh, just a lot of troubleshooting. I'm not really, um, I don't have to troubleshoot a saber as often like I did with this guy. 
Uh, I was first having some issues where I turned the font on. <clears throat> there was no hums or swings, but it was registering like blaster bolts. So I spent uh, last night troubleshooting that and all this morning. There, it just timed out. I finally got all that fixed. Um, I was in the middle of making this demo and my LED strip right here, uh, two of the LEDs went out. So um, all the resistors on that strip I've got insulated, but there was one or actually two, sorry, there was two on the very end that I, I, I did not insulate and it touched the metal and it blew those two LEDs. So I had to take this apart during this demo and replace that LED strip. Um, this guy has just been such a beast, but it, it's all together now. It's working well. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go put these together and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all these back together. We've got this one on and this one on. We'll go over the long one first. Um, in order to take these panels off, what you have to do is first take this guy out. Then come over here and take this small one out and this pommel will come off. And then you can pop your panel off just like that. Okay. Um, and that's the same for both of them. It's pretty consistent. So what you want to do if you want to put a blade in here, you'll get two of these in your box. Just take this and screw it on. My ally is a force. Screw it on. And that allows you to put a blade in and actually have some blade depth. So we'll put a uh, one inch NeoPixel blade in here and lock it down. And then we can come over here and turn it on, right? Blade lock up. Do one more. So that one's working like it should, right? And we'll go ahead and we'll take the blade out of this one. Um, I'm gonna use the same blade holder because it doesn't matter which saber you use them for and I just left your other one all wrapped up. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this guy off. We'll put it in the shorty. You will find uh, copies of the config files that I used on all the SD cards, all three sabers, right? We'll put this one in and lock it down. Do another one. Just like that. And yeah, so this one's working great too. All, all three of them are working like they should now. <laughs> Worked out all the kinks. Um, and that's basically your Thrawn Hunters and 
your scavenger. Um, I'm going to take these. I'm going to break these down off camera and send the batteries outside of the savers. Uh, let me know if you got any questions, and if not, I will ship these out to you uh, tomorrow. All right, thanks.